being proposed by the family of eight year old Noah Bush, the Wayne County child who was found drowned in May. It would increase penalties for young kids who commit violent crimes and also punish their parents. Local advocates have been supporting Noah's parents all along the way. Tonight in part two of this special report, WTOC's Madeline Bierster sat down with them to see why the push for lawmakers to pick up Noah's law is crucial. The proposal comes on the heels of sentencing for that 10 and 11 year old charged in this case. The pair sentenced to two years each for the eight year old boy's death. Georgia law sets limits on punishments for juveniles convicted of involuntary manslaughter anywhere from one to 10 years, something Noah Bush's family is hoping to change. Their next step, getting lawmakers on board. I've reached out to Representative Meeks. I've reached out to Blake Tillery's office, Kemp's office, um, the DOJ, the PAC, and several other senators in the state. And this legal system has been allowed to operate in such a way for so long that this is the fruition of it now. Now you have children killing children and their parents are informants, so it's okay. I mean, we're just watching perpetrators walk around free in our neighborhood. Our kids aren't safe. Nobody's safe. They don't deserve two years. Noah deserved his life. It's unacceptable. The idea for Noah's law started with a petition. The community push is also calling for the removal of the sheriff and all evidence in the case be released to the family. Plus, disciplining officers involved in these cases. There were 20 plus people, stories coming that aligned in regards not just to people being upset how things were handled, but to truly how egregious things have been handled in this county. Some of the concerns at the center of those calls, how the sheriff's office handled Noah's case. Among them, Kaylee Klein, a local activist, went out to the scene the following day after Noah's body was found on May 16th and says she found evidence left behind. She wonders why the area wasn't cordoned off and the items weren't collected. She says she still has no answer from the sheriff. If I did not do anything about it, they would get away with exactly what they said, accidental drowning. Out there I found um, a shirt size 1012 laying next to the water, um, a vape, a, uh, several cans of food wrappers, drink cans, um, and then even what looked to be like the um, tubing from a bike tire on the inside tubing. For those pushing for the change, they say accountability is the main point of Noah's law and to deter more crimes from being committed by kids. Noah's law will change the fact that children um, don't just get a free pass for doing things of this sort. Um, murder, like, like Ms. Bush said, this, is, this was murder. Noah's law is still actively in the works and that petition has not received a response yet from law enforcement. We're still waiting on a call back since yesterday from the sheriff. Reporting in studio, Madeline Bierster, WTOC News. You can find both parts of this two-part series by heading to our website, WTOC.com. We sat down with Noah's family yesterday for part one. Just look for that story under the news page. Continuing our breaking.